Donald Trump, whose attempted White House return is based in part on attacking U.S. President Joe Biden, is old and feeble, turned 78 on June 14, just three years younger than his election rival, with growing questions over his own health. Whoever wins the November election will set a new age record. At 81, Mr. Biden is already the oldest man to hold the office and would continue to be so, while if Trump wins, he would become the oldest at an inauguration. Trump, aided by the right-wing media ecosystem, has carefully worked to build an image of vigor, in attempted contrast to an opponent he routinely claims is sleepy or even senile. Whether staging photo ops with martial arts personalities or performing his trademark short dance at the end of rallies, Trump spares little effort to come across as an energetic showman. Heavy use of cosmetics and hairspray typically give him a look, at a distance, of a tan and younger man. Trump aimed to maintain their image at a party in West Palm Beach. In his home state of Florida, as he gave an hour-long campaign speech before a throng of paying guests. Club 47 USA, a Trump supporters group, hosted the event near the former president's mar lago residence and golf resort. With the crowd singing happy birthday as he stood on stage before a row of American flags. Wow, is that a nice crowd, he said, before launching into his boilerplate speech. Invitations Featuring a picture of Trump greening and hugging yet another U.S. flag referred to him as the best president ever. The former president is used to the flattery, with almost the entire Republican Party now lined up behind him. On June 13, he received a rousing happy birthday message in Washington from Republican members of Congress. They included senior figures who only three years ago had denounced him after cowering in fear as a mob of Trump supporters tried to storm the Capitol to overturn Mr. Biden's 2020 election win. There were no warm wishes from the Biden camp. The president's re-election campaign put out an unflattering close-up photograph of a sweaty, disheveled Trump, titled, oh, Another Year Around the Sun for Donald Trump. Underneath, a list of 78 lifetime accomplishments was provided, ranging from Trump's multiple bankruptcies to instances of far-right rhetoric, alleged sexual misconduct, cheating at golf. His encouraging of the capital assault and recent felony conviction for business fraud in New York. Happy birthday, Donald. You're a crook, a failure, a fraud, and a threat to our democracy. Economy, rights, and future, Biden campaign spokesman James Singer said. Our early gift for your 79s, making sure you are never president again. In response, a Trump spokeswoman described Mr. Biden as a weak and incompetent candidate who has been shuffling around like a brain-dead zombie at the G7 summit in Italy this week. Polls show that a big majority of Americans think Mr. Biden is too old, while a small majority think the same of Trump. But Trump, who has already had many a well-documented verbal sleep, now faces months of intense media exposure, increasing the risk of more focus on the same kinds of gaffes that have plagued Mr. Biden. Just on June 13, a mini firestorm blew up when Trump was quoted as saying that Milwaukee, where the Republicans will hold their convention to nominate Trump in July, is a horrible place. Attention is also growing on his often bizarre, meandering comments during speeches, including a recent tirade against electric vehicles that involved a sinking boat, a shark and being electrocuted. Trump appears conscious that attacks on Mr. Biden risk backfiring, given their similar ages. He's not too old at all, Trump said in an interview in September. H is interesting because some people are very sharp. And some people do lose it. Mr. Biden, on June 14, said he agreed there are nuances to the H question. Happy 78th birthday, Donald.
Take it from one old guy to another, H is just a number. He posted on X, this election, however, is a choice.